I'm obsessed with plastic surgery. I've spent 200,000 and I'm not gonna stop. Always look like a Barbie doll. I love to keep my makeup done every day, my hair done, and the body has to match. My body has made me over a million dollars, but I got illegal injections when I was 18 and I regret it so much. My boyfriend and family is begging me to stop. I don't want you to look crazy. I would be devastated if anything ever happened to you. I was always referenced in high school as the white girl with the big butt. So I had a great foundation to start out with. People call me Barbie because I always look like a Barbie doll. I love to keep my makeup done every day, my hair done, and the body has to match. Even as I grow older, I wanna be a good looking older woman. I wanna look like a hot grandma. I've had a lot of plastic surgeries done. I started when I was 18 years old with the illegal injections. Now I'm on my third boob job, tummy tuck, lipo a few times, and I've also had a BBL. Non-surgical procedures would be my injectables on my face, maintenance, Botox, fillers, lips. I would say I've spent around 200,000. I would like to reverse my legal butt shots. I'm starting to have complications. When I first got in the illegal butt shots, I was nervous because this isn't a doctor. You know, it's like very much black market, hush, hush. You lay down on a table and they start injecting your butt. At the end of the day, we don't know what it is that they're truly injecting. The side effects of my illegal injections is some slight discoloration, pain, and random tingling in my legs, numbness. I'm worried that if I don't get the injections removed that they'll continue to deteriorate. You just don't know what will happen. My message to girls who are looking to do the same procedure is don't do it. It's illegal for a reason and it's just not worth it. So I'm gonna look at some pictures of me from before the surgery, just how far I've come. And some people look at the pictures and be like, you looked so much better before, but I don't know, I think I look better now. I was always popular in high school, but I wasn't confident with myself. And I think people making fun of me pushed me to wanna change myself and change my appearance. And I feel like with plastic surgery, I got to take control of my narrative and that's what I did. So this is when I was 18, a little bit of curves, but not enough for me. I wish that I would have waited and just let my, be a woman at 18 that's still growing and let my curves grow on their own. But I don't regret it. My body has made me over a million dollars. So it is what it is. When it comes to the internet, I share probably too much than what I should, but I like to be in control of my narrative. The negative messages I've gotten about my look is saying that I'm shaped like an ant, my legs don't match my butt, I look disgusting, I look gross. It low-key looks like the booty and thighs are always mad pink and swollen. You know, comments like that hurt my feelings. It's like, do you know why though? Like, you don't even know what I've been through. And I just wish sometimes people could be more sensitive. On this same post, it says, you really inspire me to not take from no one and to be my own boss. I do like when I get positive messages because it makes me feel like people understand me. So because of my body, I've had a lot of nice gifts, a lot of things done for me. Probably the nicest thing that somebody's ever done for me, the first day I met them, they took me on a shopping spree and spent around 60,000 on me. I would describe my style as very expensive. I like to stand out, so when I walk in, I want them to see me, I want to look like a Barbie. It's so hard to find the right jeans because I have a super small waist. My waist is about 26 inches and my hips and butt is 51 inches. Most of the time I have to get them tailored. When I do go out, I like to have my butt covered. I don't like to wear see-through things. Just because I'm really insecure about the injections. So today I'm going to the beach with my boyfriend and he doesn't like me to show a lot of skin. So I'm hoping the outfit that I decided for today is up to his standards. Hey honey, big glass for my king. Cheers. Yes, 
so do you notice anything? No, nah, what? Babe, my outfit. This is what I'm gonna wear to the beach today. To the beach? This is yeah. like a club fit. A club outfit. Yeah. You know when you got with me, you didn't sign up for no basic girl. Like, you want a good looking girl, right? Like, this is what comes with it. Okay, okay. So if you Body's could change fire. anything about my body, would you? Nah, you good right now. No more surgeries, though. It's quiet. No more surgeries. Quiet. Babe, 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 babe. <laughs> you know that I like the fake look. I don't work out. Yeah. I have to keep getting surgery. You know I'm always gonna get surgery till the day I die. Nah, it's not gonna happen. What it, do you mean it's not gonna happen? You're gonna start going to the gym. No more surgery. And I don't want you to look crazy. You can't work your lips out to make them bigger. I mean, I could think of other workouts, but that's not what I'm <laughs> talking about. <laughs> so I'm about to call my grandma and I'm a little nervous. So my family feels like I'm beautiful without the surgery. Hey. How are you? They make fun of my butt, saying it's too big. They're embarrassed by me when we go places because you know, no matter what I wear, my body is gonna show. I just wanted to call and talk to you about some things. I'm getting one more surgery and... <laughs> well, let me hear what it is. <laughs> well, I'm gonna get the illegal injections from my butt removed. So I'm gonna get them taken out. <laughs> that makes me happy. Because, when it's ugly, it feels like you got a big 10 pound bag of potatoes on this <laughs> side and on this side. I stand up and I was like, what the hell happened? <laughs> <laughs> Either gonna have to open my butt up, I'm gonna have to go to Columbia out of the country to get it done. Columbia, why can't they do it here? Well, they're just not as good as it in the States. Like, they, they're they gonna leave my butt looking like lumpy and clumpy. It like, already is lumpy and clumpy. No, it's not. You're a hater. No more gifts for you. I'd love you more than anything in the world. And I would be devastated if anything ever happened to you. I just can't tell you love how precious you are. I love you, Lord. Aw, oh, don't cry. You've helped me so much become into the lady that I am today. And I'm so glad to have talked to you today. But don't cry. Everything's going to be all right. Bye, Grandma. I love you. I love you, too. Thank you. Aw, that's so sad. Hmm. Try not to mess up my makeup. I get a lot of reactions anytime I go in public. Most of the time negative. It's either husbands looking or wives with a mean face. But I know they're just mad because they want to look like this. If you're hating, you're not happy with yourself. I receive a lot of love too though. A lot of girls will come up to me and think you look awesome. My hope for the future is to get these injections removed safely, keep looking fabulous, and I just wanna be a voice for young girls that are thinking about getting injections and just plead with them not to.